All right, things are a little bit wild. This is very exciting. Things are a little bit wild at the Auckland War Memorial Museum this morning. Ahead of the school holidays, which start in a week, prehistory is being brought to life, and a robotic dinosaur is reported to be playing up. Museum, museum uh, paleontologist Glenis Stace joins me now, live from the... Oh, and dressed so beautifully as well. Glenis, good morning. Good morning, Paul. Now, tell us what the story is with this, uh, with this prehistoric monster. Well, a few, few days ago, we found these unusual footprints down there in the domain, and we went down and had a look, and the only thing we could figure out that they might have been was a dinosaur. Uh, a few people suggested Moa, but it just didn't quite fit. So uh, we had a stakeout last night down there by the duck pond, and sure enough, this morning our team have captured a beautiful oh, little dryosaur. He was much, much more placid, of course, when the bag was over his head. Well, yes, of course, that uh, our animal behaviourist, Jack Crichton, managed to capture it, put the bag over it, said that always calms down um, wild animals like this. He's a wild animal at the moment, you see. He's going to have to work on it for the next week so that children can come to the uh, museum and see it. Uh, otherwise, it, um, you know, it, it would be a bit of a disaster having a wild animal in the museum. It, but, um, do, uh, will, will it graze on any of the children? No, 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 it's, it's a plant eater. Uh, it'll uh, eating mainly uh, trees like uh, the ones that were alive during the uh, Cretaceous period, things like um, kauri and uh, bunya pine and Norfolk pine, trees like that. That's why it's been in the domain, you see. There are all of those trees around. It's been, e it's been eating those trees. So it's going to play havoc with your native flora and fauna, isn't it? Oh, but I think we'll have to get um, our team of um, people who are looking after it there. They'll go out every day into a forest and cut branches for it. We won't be taking it out into the domain very often to eat. I can only begin to imagine what the Greens will make of all of that. Ah, well, um, they don't have much choice, really. They wouldn't want to kill an animal, would they? I suppose they don't. Now, during the school holidays, it's a brilliant opportunity, isn't it, for, um, for young New Zealanders to come up to the museum and see, really, what is living history. Oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, this is, um, this is a really one-off event. Uh, and, of course, um, in conjunction with our dinosaur here, we've got all sorts of programs running during the school holidays. We've got workshops for children on dinosaurs. We're actually going to paint the models of the museum's dinosaurs. We're We've got our uh, 10 minute activities going on in the Children's Discovery Centre, all sorts of things. And of course, our dryosaur. That's the type of dinosaur she is, by the way. Yes. Uh, and we think she's a female. Uh, we, our dryosaur will be making a daily appearance, so twice a day, I think, in the Origins Gallery. So the children will be able to get quite up close and personal with her. If you're not, not touching, of course. I mean, wouldn't a paleontologist instantly know whether it was a female or a male? Uh, well, dinosaurs are not quite that obvious. Ah. No, you have, to, you have to be a little bit more careful. It's not like a horse or a cow. Is there an opportunity to sell bags of guano or not? Uh, well, we're going to contribute that to the zoo so that they Excellent. can make it up with their zoo do. Very, very good answer. Glenis, I thank you very much for joining us. Glenis Stace, paleontologist at the zoo. Real uh, pleasure. At the museum. Yes. Real pleasure. Thank Exciting you. Exciting morning.